Warfare. We got a hell of an episode tonight. And it'll be something to look out for. Main event. Eight-man elimination tag match. And we get the Wolf Pack. Lorenzo and Wolf Child teaming with Mitsuharu Mazawa and Tanaka Kobashi to take on the team of Michael Blaze, Show, RJ Lucas. And the and instead of Kane, which was Kane was supposed to be the partner of them tonight, Kane cannot make the show. Instead, it's the Undertaker. So we got a great, great show tonight. Anyway, let's take things off with six man elimination chamber matchup. And there's Devin. Devin will be defending his immortal title later on in the night against a mystery person. Uh, what the hell is the cameraman doing? But why the last couple hours it's been. I mean, if you didn't see MSW, I would highly recommend to see MSW, because some of the stuff that happened tonight on MSW is going to basically, you know, bleed into this show tonight. Devin's trying to go after Marcus. And if uh, people didn't watch MSW, here's your spoiler. Marcus King has just joined the House of Torture. Marcus joined up with House of Torture. First person out of the pods in this match is Shingo Takagi. And once again, we have, or Yoda Suji, my bad. Yoda Suji in this match. And here we go, another 2K hair glitch today, folks. We got another 2K hair glitch. Ever since this new DLC came out, the hair glitch has been absolutely crazy as of late. And it strikes again in the form of Akira Tenru. Of Akira Tauwe, my bad. Akira Tauwe. Kick out. But yes, Dev will be defending his title. It'll be the match before a big battle royal. Okay, next up out of the pods, here in this matchup, Akira Tawe. Dennis is a stupid commentator, he has new moves now. Why are you saying I'm stupid for? I didn't do anything wrong. Shots here by Grit to Akira Tawe. Yoda Suji with a brutalizing knee to the head of Alex Brimstone. The winner of this match here will face Katsuyori Shibata next episode for the Hybrid Championship. It moves there by Yoda Suji on Alex Brimstone. Akira Tawe slammed down by Grit. And Gabe Kidd and Iron Taylor are still beating up each other on, on MSW. Part is Taylor's going to have to be here tonight because uh, Taylor's in a in a battle royal tonight. Where if he wins, he will face the winner of a triple threat match that'll be happening next on the next episode, which will be most likely on Wednesday. That'll be the next episode. Here comes Shingo Takagi, the dragon himself of Los Encarnobles de Japón. As we're getting closer and closer to G1 Climax 34 for New Japan Pro Wrestling and, and both Shingo Takagi and Yoda Suji will be a part of the G1 Climax 34. Michael Blaze says that he is the greatest. Well, Blaze, you are going to be a part of the main event tonight. The eight-man elimination tag match. It will be the Wolf Pack. Lorenzo and Wolfchild teaming up with Mitsuharu Mizawa and Kenta Kawashi as they take on a team of, of Michael Blaze. Sho... RJ Lucas and The Undertaker. Devin says sorry, yeah, frustrated after Marcus, after Marcus turned his back on all of the fans. Devin says his move list is finished. Here comes Blake Christian, as we have everyone in the in this chamber match out, 
Remember, the winner of this will face Katsuri Shibata next episode. Covering a kick out here by Grit on Blake Christian. Taylor assists typical house of torture. Blay, uh, Devin says Blaze, you're a part of the BMW roster. Big shots by all men here in this match. You got Tawe and Shingo going at it. You got Yota Suji and Brimstone, and you got Grit and Blake Christian. Apparently, Lorenzo's going to try to cut a promo after the main event match tonight. They all suck. That's why they had to recruit Marcus. House of Torture, it's House of Torture, man. Now they have Marcus on their side. Who knows what the House of Torture are planning. In the corner, Blake Christian. Little head scissors. Blaze has been signed for just $200 a show. Kick out. Oh, and by the way, I actually de uh, re uh, got uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 here on the Xbox. I used to own it on PlayStation. Definitely one of the best games of the last decade, Red Dead Redemption 2. And I, I had to re-download it because it was uh, like under $40 for the Ultimate Edition of Red Dead Redemption 2, which is a great game. For that price, hell yeah, I'm getting Red Dead 2. Blaze says he wants more money than $200 a show. I know Blaze is getting paid more than uh, Devin's show is. He's getting paid around 1000 bucks a show. Powerbomb by Brimstone on Yoda Suji, but he can't go for the pin, courtesy of Akira Tawe. Basically, Blaze is getting the average paycheck from for a uh, big card talent right now for about $1,000 a show. Usually, he ranges from $1,000 to two uh, to 1,500 a show. Xplex there by Grim uh, by Grit cover Grit and no a kick out by Kier One of the four pillars of heaven. Three of the four pillars of heaven will, heaven will compete on the show. Kawada is recovering from a little bit of a soreness from the, his matchup against Badlock Fale, which was when Fale won the international title. Fale is taking the day off, but he will be on the next episode. Big standing moonsault there by Blake Christian. Blazes to not make him laugh. How is that going to make you laugh? Gritter end here. Gritter end 2.0 by Grit. Grit to take out Yoda Suji, and Suji kicks out. Evan Courageous just said that he's coming after Blaze. Blade Christian Frog Splash to Shingo Takagi. Here on the floor, Kier Tawe eats an elbow from Brimstone. Blade Christian, there's that sweeping DDT. Beautiful from Blade Christian. Blade Christian to take out Grit. Grit kicks out. No one eliminated just yet in this matchup. That's been good so far. Brimstone thrown into the ring by Akira Tawe. Akira Tawe is feeling he might try to take out Alex Brimstone. Blocked by Brimstone. Mid move by Takagi. Covered by Suji on Grit. Grit is eliminated by Yota Suji. Places now you're talking. Do I get a title? No. Big shots here by Yota Suji on Shingo, his own uh, former, uh, his own uh, faction partner. Brimstone go for a choke slam on Akira Tawe. Bang! Choke slam by Brimstone. Brimstone trying to put away Akira Tawe with the power bomb, which is Tawe's own move as well. Power bomb, well, it's Brimstone. Here's the cover to take out Akira Tawe. No, Tawe kicks out. Devin says he become the inaugural 24-7 champion. So Blaze gets a jobber title, I guess. Blaze, it's a jobber championship, which is funny. Akira Tawe, and they're countered by Brimstone. Alex Brimstone throws him in the corner. Brimstone, close line. Blaze is 24-7, that's a joke. Ooh. Elbow to the back by Brimstone on Tawe. We have five people in the match here, since Grit got eliminated by Yota Suji. Big time bat suplex by Blake Christian. 
Then this is, yeah, his uh, girlfriend debuted on MSW. I remember. Brimstone, second rope, drops the elbow on Akira Tawe. That could take out Akira Tawe. Here's the cover on Tawe. That's it. Akira Tawe eliminated by outs. Brimstone, we are down to four. Blaze, uh, Devin says, okay, how about a world title shot? Really? You don't give Blaze a world title match because of that? Blaze is probably going to lose anyway. Power bomb, Alex Brimstone. A sit out power bomb by Alex Brimstone. But he's not going for the pin because here comes Blake Christian. Blake Christian bends back his arm. It kind of sucks we can't have Kane out here tonight, but instead it's The Undertaker. Yeah, The Undertaker is going to make an appearance tonight. And it's not the dead man. For people wondering, it is not going to be the dead man tonight. It is going to be the American Badass. Because the dead man's retired, but the United, but the American Badass is not retired. Cover Blake Christian. Suji eliminated by Blake Christian. We are down to three. Brimstone, Suji. I mean, Brimstone, Dakagi, and Blake Christian. Those are the only people left in the matchup. Boy, Christian, what a move. Yeah, I mean, I don't think, yeah. There's no way Michael Blaze is going to beat Minoru Suzuki. Blake Christian, 450 on Shingo Takagi. Is Shingo eliminated by Blake Christian? No, Blake Christian can't believe it. Shingo kicks out. Choke slam coming up to Blake Christian. Brimstone, choke slam. The cover on Blake Christian. Blake Christian gets the shoulder up at two to survive. That kick up. Brimstone, can we think of power bomb? Never mind. He stopped by Blake Christian. Off the rope. Blake Christian with a drop kick. Shingo Nakagi. Drop kick. The elbow to the back of Brimstone by Shingo Takagi. Sent on by Shingo. A cover by the Dragon to take out Blake Christian. Kick out for Blake Christian. Shingo. Blake Christian with the counter. Big shot, double punches by Alex Brimstone. Brimstone sidewalk slam to Blake Christian. Oh, an elbow to the head of Alice Brimstone there by Shingo Dakagi. Big miss for Blake Christian. Shingo is, oh no, Alex in trouble. Brimstone, power bomb on Christian. No, a kick out. Oh, and by the way, Jack Perry is the AEW TNT champion. Oh, oh, wait, here we go. How about a little last of the dragon? Last of the dragon on Alex Brimstone. That could do it. Oh, it's not enough to take out Alex Brimstone. Brimstone kicks out of the last of the dragon. Shingle off the back of the turnbuckle. Back first. Lay Christian. Oh, no, he missed it. Big counter by Shingo. Big STO. A big STO. Counter by Blake Christian. Blake Christian, drop kick on Brimstone. Cover on Alex Brimstone by Blake Christian. Blake Christian to take out Brimstone. Brimstone is eliminated by Blake Christian. And we're down to two. It is Blake Christian and Shango Takagi. The winner gets a hybrid championship matchup. Big clotheslines by the Dragon. Wow, just magnificent clotheslines from Shango Takagi. Big move by Shingo Takagi. Shingo going up top. You don't see this very often for Shingo Takagi. Shingo top rope, gonna drop the knee and he misses. Good counter by Blake Christian. Blake Christian, counter by Shingo. Shingo couldn't capitalize. Big kicks and shots by Blake Christian. Blake Christian, boom! Distance clothesline, Blake Christian. This could be it though. Blake Christian's gonna set him up. Blake Christian, skull tap into the stomp. 
Out of the corner with the leaping stomp. Play Christian. Gets the match against Katsuyori Shibata. The man that is treated like Inoki's son has just got himself a title matchup against, Bla against Katsuyori Shibata. That'll be an interesting matchup between Blake Christian and Katsuyori Shibata. Will Katsuyori Shibata make Blake Christian humble Katsuyori Shibata or will Blake Christian take home his first championship here? We have to find out on Wednesday though to see if Blake Christian will capture his first goal. Oh, here we go. Here's that triple threat matchup. Evil, Rockstar Steve, John Moxley. The winner of this matchup will face the winner of a 20-man battle royal on the next episode, and the winner will get the first open weight title match against the current champion, Plum. Yeah, Plum won the, heavy, the open weight championship in a triple threat match back on the last pay-per-view in Mexico. The same pay-per-view where Lorenzo became world champion. And you'll see Lorenzo later on tonight in the main event, tagging up with Wolfchild, Mitsuharu Mizawa, and Kenta Kobashi. John Moxley firing off here early on. Evil's definitely gonna have some confidence in him because Evil has a new member of the House of Torture, and that's Marcus King. It looked like after Marcus came back from the dead, it looked like that he turned a new leaf. He was coming back into the light of the fans. He was being good friends with people. The next thing you know, Marcus turns his back on everyone, joins up with House of Torture. And who knows what's gonna happen with the House of Torture from here on out with Marcus on their side. John Moxley, a little half and half. That was a nice one from John Moxley. Sidewalk slam there by Rockstar Steve. Devin's going after, I don't even think Marcus is here. I don't think Marcus is here tonight. His Marcus isn't scheduled for a match. He was an MSW, but I don't believe Marcus is actually scheduled tonight for a match, and I don't even think he's here. Oh, come on, Evil with a steel chair right to the, oh, come on, Evil with a steel chair to the back of Steve, and look at Evil attacking John Moxley with a steel chair. I mean, there are the other members of House of Torture. The only, member of How the only members of House of Torture, they're not in the building tonight are, uh, I believe, Marcus and Jack Perry. And that's because Jack Perry right now, ja Jack Perry's over at Forbidden Door, and Marcus is not in the building right now. Big powerbomb from Evil, and a kick out by Rockstar Steve. And Devin just hit a fan. So it wasn't Marcus that he hit, he hit, he hit a fan. Moxley from behind, the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. John Moxley dropping Rockstar Steve on the ropes, and Evil drops Moxley, goes after the leg of Rockstar Steve. Takedown by Moxley on Evil. A close line from Evil. Cover by Evil, and a breakup by Steve. Moxley's, I'm actually surprised that John Moxley's here. Tonight for this for this matchup. In the rain, Moxley covers Steve. Break up from Evil. Devin's going after Ranurita. That might be a poor decision there, Devin. You never know. Ranurita could be the one that comes after you. Rockstar Steve. And what is this? Boat counter by Steve from behind. Evil stops Steve. Evil hopes to slam, blocked by John Moxley. And shoulder tackle from Rockstar Steve. Then 
senses. They don't know that he's hiding. Off the ropes, Moxley misses the knee trembler. John Moxley caught by Evil right till the eyes low. Low. Low blow by Evil. Will that be enough? Moxley kicks out of the low blow. Like, come on, man, really? Oh, this might be it for Mox. Moxley could be eliminated. No block by Moxley. Oh, come on, baseball bat. A baseball bat from Rockstar Steve. Moxley goes to the knee trembler. He misses it. Yeah, he hit him with a low blow. That's that's house of torture, though, in a nutshell. That, that's a house of torture, 101 move right there. Low blow your opponent. Every member of the house of torture does that. I think the only one that doesn't is Red Narita, because Narita just uses his um, his his uh, push-up bar. Cover on Evil. Nope, kick out for e for Evil. Two former MEOW World Champions are in the ring: John Moxley and Evil. Evil put up on the top by Steve. Rockstar Steve is trying to hit a platinum hit off the top rope on Evil. Moxley's waiting to see what happens. Here comes a platinum hit on Evil, and he got him. Platinum hit by Rockstar Steve off the top. That chair, though, is going to break up that cover. John Moxley saves the match for Evil. Oh, knee to the skull from John Moxley. The IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. And it's been told by Tatsuya Naito that if Moxley beats Naito tonight on Forbidden Door, he gets Naito's G1 spot. Here's a cover and a breakup by Rockstar Steve off Everything is Evil. Steve saves the match for that break off, breakup off Everything is Evil. And it feels to be that everything's going to be evil pretty soon for evil, especially that he's got Marcus in the House of Torture. You never know, Marcus could be that X factor that the House of Torture are looking for. I hope to God not. But hey, you never know, Marcus could be that missing piece for House of Torture. John Moxley got style, pile driver. Mox going for Death Rider. John Moxley, good on the Death Rider. Moxley to win. No, Evil saves it. That's a screw that G1, he was cursed? No, it wasn't cursed. If some people have bad luck with the tournaments. You were one of them. He had bad luck in both of them. Off the ropes, Evil. Picked up by Steve, and oh, right to the eyes. Evil with a right to the eyes. The right to the eyes by Evil, and Headlock Driver. Oh, now look at this baseball bat from Moxley. Hey, there's Vamp, he's here for this triple threat match against Moxley, Evil, and Steve. Evil throws Moxley off the rope. Man, that looked dangerous. Ooh, oh, ooh, we got a, a version of like a camel clutch maybe by Evil. Steve breaks out of it and hits an axe handle to Evil. They shot the back there. Evil into the corner from John Moxley. Moxley with a clothesline in the corner, Bulldog. Bulldog out of the corner by John. John Moxley, drop kick. Moxley could be seizing up an opportunity. He's got the baseball bat in hand. Waiting for Evil to get back up, he doesn't see Rockstar Steve behind him. Steve to be thinking for a platinum hit off the top on Moxley. He's hit one on Evil already. And he hit one on Moxley. Here we go. Platinum hit from the top row on Sean Moxley. 
Rockstar Steve can get over to a pin, but Evil's right there to stop Steve. Evil stopped there by Rockstar Steve. Off the rope, Steve with a spine buster right near the steps. Steve punches Moxley in the head. Rockstar Steve rolls out the floor. Moxley, the only man inside right now. And Moxley and Steve have kendo sticks. Oh, and a kendo stick to the back of Evil. And now we got kendo stick battle between John Moxley and Rockstar Steve. Ooh, the kendo stick just broke over the back of the leg of Evil. These three men just beating the hell out of each other in this matchup. Steve throws Moxley back inside. Evil. Throws Steve back in. And now Evil back in as well. Oh no, Moxley's going to drop by Evil, but he's stopped by Rockstar Steve. Bitch slam. A big time slam by Rockstar Steve. Steve back in the ring, big DDT. Oh, the kendo stick from Evil. A miss by Evil. Oh, but he didn't miss that time though. Evil playing some drums on Rockstar Steve. That kendo stick to John Moxley. Evil covers John Moxley to win. And a breakup from Rockstar Steve. Steve picks up Evil. Evil's dropped from the top turnbuckle. Oh man, Kendo stick in the corner, but Moxley with a big boot. That was brutal. Evil ate a Kendo stick to the top of the head. Moxley, curve, stomp to the edge of the chair. Curve, stomp right on the edge of the chair. Big miss by Moxley. Moxley's caught Platinum. Hit. Platinum hit to win the match. Breakup from Evil. Oh, and a boot to the head. A boot to the head by Evil. And a chair shot to Rockstar Steve. Cover by Evil. Evil to win. And Evil wins. Oh, come on, really? Evil wins by pinning Rockstar Steve. Well, crap. I said earlier, maybe this, you know, signing a Marcus King to the House of Torture has that bumped up all the confidence of the House of Torture. And you never know what might happen because Evil just won this match against two other great competitors. Now, quite fancy though, he did low blow a few people in that match. Why is this match on the card? I didn't say this match. Let's just simulate this match because I didn't put this match on the card. Okay, or this one. I guess 2K decided to add two random matches to the card. Thanks, 2K. Anyway, it's time for a rumble. It's time for a battle royal, everyone. This battle royal is very simple. It's a 20-man battle royal. The winner of this will face evil on the next episode for a number one contendership for the Open Weight Championship. The question will be, who's going to win this Battle Royal? And who will be facing Evil on Wednesday? Because that's when my, ne my next show will be. It'll be on Wednesday. Because tomorrow I'm busy with Canada Day stuff, and Tuesday I work. But who's going to be the first two people to join this Battle Royal? And I think I might know who number one is. The new Marcus King, who just joined House of Torture at number one. Marcus might have drawn the short end of the stick tonight, but here's the House of Torture's Marcus King. I don't know if I downloaded your new attire just yet, Devin, but I'll see if I have them or not. But here comes Marcus King to the ring. The newest member of House of Torture. And it feels weird saying that with Marcus, that he's a member of the House of Torture, but he is now. Stabbing people in the back. Due to joining up with Evil and Ren Narita and Yujiro Takahashi and Dick Togo show. They're all of them. 
You stole your blue jacket? I wouldn't say that's a blue jacket, that's purple. And spray painted on it. <laughs> I was gonna say, that'd be very interesting to try to put that House of Torture symbol on it. <laughs> but especially with spray paint. Don't think sp you can spray paint a logo like that on there. There's Marcus number one. And number two in the 20 man battle royal. Is is that oh we might have Brandon Styles and Marcus starting off the battle royal tonight and we are we're gonna have Marcus versus Brandon Styles Marcus and Brandon Styles to start off this battle royal wow two men that have left respective uh, people behind Brandon left the Bullet Club well he got kicked out of the Bullet Club. And he joined a new group with Iron Taylor and Devin and Plum and Dan. While Marcus is with House of Torture. All right, who's number three in this 20-man battle royal? Malachi Abroth at number three. Yep, it is. But here comes Malachi Abroth. As Taylor calls him the Russian chicken. Russian Chicken Man at number three if you're Iron Taylor. Whoa, big move by Brandon Styles. Brandon attacking Malachi Abroth. Marcus misses, Styles rolls through. Who's next? Kazuki Urahara of Urahara and Shilton at number four. Devin's hoping that Marcus is thrown out first. Suki here. Oh, Brandon's in trouble. Brandon Styles could be eliminated here by, by Malachi Abroth. Suki Urahara with a, with, a tor with a triangle here on Marcus. So Brandon stays alive. Here comes number five. Number five is Marshall Von Erich of the Von Erichs. Von Erich, Marshall at number five. Marcus in trouble, but Marcus stays alive from the well-placed knee. A very well-placed knee by Marcus. Shot by Marcus on Marshall Von Eric. Who's going to be up next here in this matchup number six? Dan the Man, another member of Revolution, is number six. Dan at number six. You know, Marcus and Dan have a little bit of history from CTL when Marcus had issues with the unsubscribe and die. And King Giant times, too. But no one's eliminated yet. Marcus off the ropes. Oh, and he's caught by Dan. Beautiful move from Dan there. Number seven. Who'll be number seven in this battle royal? GX3. GX3 at number seven. Marcus has no oh, styles, but Marshall Von Eric says no, no to Marcus. Marshall Von Erich trying to take Marcus out of the match. Marcus in trouble. Will he be eliminated by Marshall Von Erich? No, he will not be eliminated by Marshall Von Erich. Marcus beating up on Dan right now. We're going to see number eight come up next. Who will be number eight? Ross Von Erich. So we got both of the Von Erich family in this matchup. Oh, Brandon's in trouble. Brandon is in trouble right now. Kazuki Urahara could eliminate Brandon Styles. Styles trying to hang on. Will Brandon be able to hang on to this matchup as we have a full reign of eight people? Ross Von Eric with a springboard. Brandon takes out Kazuki Urahara. German suplex on his own brother, Marshall Von Eric. Big bad body drop. 
Malachi Admiroff to be eliminated maybe by Dan. Archer sees the Northern Lights by GX3. Marshall escapes the clutches of Brandon Stiles. Marcus on the ropes. Marcus saved by G by Marshall Von Eric. Marshall Von Eric saves Marcus. Dance, the worst part was he was trying to loop fruit Marcus, and now he's become a snake. Made by Dan, Death Rider by Marcus on Ross Von Eric. Marcus with a Death Rider to Ross Von Eric. Marcus takes out Ross Von Eric. Marcus is taking out Ross Von Eric. Marcus attacking Dan right now. Marcus goes after Malachi and Roth. Takes him down with that power bomb. Marcus and Dan are fighting again. Dan has Marcus in that corner. Marcus to be eliminated here. Same with Brandon. Brandon stays alive. Marcus in trouble. Will he be eliminated by Dan? Malachi Abroff will be eliminated by Kazuki Urahara. There goes Malachi, taken out by Kazuki Urahara. Oh my god, Brandon, no! Brandon! Oh no, I thought he was going to be taken out, but no. Dan reverses and down goes Styles. Marcus taken down by Kazuki Urahara. Marcus in the corner right now. German suplex, Marshall on air. Fans are saying that Marcus sucks. Number nine is the blue arrow of the air attack. Marcus, springboard. Going after Marshall Von Eric. GX3 is going to take out Brandon Styles. Brandon Styles eliminated by GX3. Marcus and Air Raid crash on Blue Arrow. Styles taken out by GX3. Marcus the big, big Yurinagi. Suzuki Arahara in trouble courtesy of Marshall Von Eric and Marshall Von Eric gets the elimination. Number 10, Mikey Nichols of TMDK. Hey, Marcus came in at number one. He's still alive in this matchup. He's, he only has 10 more people to go. Don't care. Don't care. Don't need your dumb little stupid weird promotions or whatever it's called. Marshall going after Marcus. I mean, he's got to go after him since he took out his brother. Styles came in at number two. It's fine. Number 11, Reverend Morbid. Blue Arrow in trouble here. Marcus and Mikey Nichols. The two M's trying to take out Blue Arrow. Marshall in trouble. GX3. GX3 trying to take out Marshall Von Eric. But Marshall staying alive in this match. Marshall's gonna be a tough out, I'll say that. Marshall has had a great career. Blue Arrow taking out Mikey Nichols. The Madman, Mikey Nichols, takes out Blue Arrow. Marcus is thrown out by GX3. Oh, David Finley. David Finley, number 12, just when the fans thought that they'd escaped someone, here comes David Finley. Number 12. Marcus got thrown out by GX3, but here comes David Finley at number 12. Big, big suplex, Marshall Von Eric. Marshall Von Eric, big, big headlock punch. A classic maneuver of the Von Eric family for Marshall Von Eric. <laughs> Fans are saying goodbye to Marcus. Oh, super kicks the back of the head. Big boot there from Mar Mikey Nichols. Big shots here by Mikey Nichols on Reverend Marvin. Who's up next? The Green Meanie. Here comes Dan, Vertebraker. Green Meanie number 13, Marshall Von Eric, eliminated by GX3. Morbin in trouble. Nope, it stays alive. David Finley could eliminate Mikey Nichols here. And Mikey's eliminated by David Finley. And Dan is eliminated by GX3. Two members of Revolution were in this match, they are both gone. 
courtesy of one man, GX3. Here comes Iron Taylor. Feels like GH3 is the man to beat in this match. He's been great. And he's taken out two Revolution members. He's taken out Marcus. He's taken out Marshall Von Eric. He's taken out the heavy hitters of this match so far. And he's going to maybe try to take out the Iron Taylor. I believe after this is Devin versus whoever his opponent is for the Immortal title. There's a big pile driver by Morbid that Graves calling. Morbid on the ropes. David Finley takes out Reverend Morbid. 15, a former two time world champion, Baron Von Farkas. Big knee by Green Meanie. Here's Baron Von Farkas, number 15. We're almost done. Devin trying to cheer on his teammate. Green Meanie could be in trouble. Oh, Iron Taylor could be eliminated. And yet, Iron Taylor's taken out. Guess who? GX3. GX3 has been a thorn in the side of the Revolution so far. All three members of the Revolution that were in this match all eliminated by GX3. Here comes Jay White. Jay White, number 16. GX3 trying to take in another guy in David Finley. Finley trying to hang on, and David Finley hangs on. Jay White eliminated. GX3, I mean by uh, GX, the fans like GX3. Dava Finley, Finley takes out GX3. Drill a Maloney of the War Dogs, number 17. Uh oh, the War Dogs are getting numbers into this matchup. They got Dava Finley and Drill a Maloney in this match. And the, and, and the fan favorite GX3 eliminated by guess who? David Finley. Drill Maloney in this matchup for the War Dogs. We had 18, 19, and 20 left in the match. Who's next? Oh God, no. Nick Aldis of WWE, Nick Aldis. Representing the WWE at number 18, are you kidding me? Why is Nick Aldis in this match? Triple H, what did you do? What the hell, Triple H? All right, number 19 and 20 are left to go in the matchup. And that'll be it. Nick Aldis trying to take out David Finley here. 19 is Brood Watson, so we only got one more land to go. Who will be left in the match? Just one more guy to, get to left to go in the match, and then boom, we'll be down to the last people in the match. David Finley stays alive again. A bear hug from Baron Von Farkas. Then says, we see another WWE dice from Find Trip Lake to put him down. Well, Triple H is not here tonight because, well, he's a, still a sore loser from losing the KOPW title. Hey, it's John, and there goes Drill Maloney. John Michael DeSanta at number 20. So we have Farkas, Finley, John, Nick Aldis, Brood Watson, and Green Meanie. Oh, Nick Aldis with a cross face on John. These are your men that are left in the matchup. Who's going to win and face Evil next episode for a chance at the open weight title? Man, David Finley got slammed by John. Brad Watson, and he stays alive. John Michael DeSanta with a beautiful power slam on David Finley. Nick Aldis stays alive. Oh, David Finley trying to help him out here. But Brood Watson's going to stay alive. Nobody wants David versus Evil. I mean, that's happened before. Nick Aldis, he's on spaghetti legs here. Aldis takes out John. John's eliminated by Nick Aldis. 
Nick Aldis takes down Green Meany. Fark is trying to take out Watson. Green Meany could be eliminated here, maybe. Nope, he stays alive. David Finley trying to help out Farkas. Or Evil versus Nick Aldis. Hey, you never know. Nick Aldis, he's on the ropes right now. Is Nick Aldis going to be taken out by, G by Green Meany here? From behind, David Finley kicks the back of Farkas. Missed by Finley. David Finley ground and pound on Brew Watson. Your final five are in this here. Green Meany trying to take out Nick Aldis. Nick Aldis trying to hang on. Farkas on the ropes here. David Finley. Farkas stays alive. Baron. Taken out day by David Finley. We're down to four. David Finley, Nick Aldis, Green Medium, Brood, what a spear. David Finley. David Finley, you're trying to take out Watson. We'll be down to three. And yeah, we're down to three. Green Meany, Nick Aldis, and David Finley are your three remaining people to go in this matchup. We have a WWE guy. We got Bullet Club's leader and Green Meany of MSW. And he's trying to get up a Finley with a boot in the corner to Nick Aldis. Mid knee there by Green Meany. Nick Aldis, oh, he almost took out Meany. That was really close. Nick Aldis almost took out the Green Meany with that clothesline. Fans are trying to cheer on the Green Meany. He's their only fan favorite they got left in this matchup. Nick Aldis caught with the knee by David Finley. Finley just stomping the spine of Nick Aldis. After this, Devin will defend that internet, that immortal title. Big net breaker, David Finley. Green Meany, as Finley rolls him off, super kick. Aldis trying to go after Meany here. Uh-oh, 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 Meany, Meany stays alive. Finley, bang, got Meany right in the button. Green Meany, oh, Nick Aldis, Nick Aldis. Nick, oh, he stays alive courtesy of the Green Meany. Oh, but Nick Aldis, Nick Aldis says, David Finley in his sights, and he stays alive. David Finley's still alive. Nick Aldis dropped with an electric chair by the green mini. Meany's the fans' only hope left to go. Big slam from the green. Oh, wait a minute. Finley. David Finley powerbomb. A big powerbomb by David Finley, and that might be it for green mini. And Meany is eliminated by Nick Aldis. We are down to two, Nick Aldis and David Finley. Who will win this match? Will, will WWE win or will the War Dogs win? A big knee from Finley. Finley with a big kick. Fans are booing already. Nick Aldis, big net breaker from the SmackDown general manager, Nick Aldis. But Finley, counter from Nick Aldis. Oh, Nick Aldis trying to go for a win. Nick Aldis on, oh, Finley hangs on. David Finley hangs on. Somehow, Finley stays alive. We're just down to Nick Aldis and David Finley. These two knuckleheads. For the last two people. Oh, spear! Spear by Finley. Spear from Diva Finley. Nick Aldis is, Nick Aldis trying to stay alive. Aldis is gone. Diva Finley will face evil on Wednesday.
the leader of the War Dogs wins. Now the fans are booing the hell out of David Finley, but the leader of the War Dogs has planted his flag, and he's got a date with evil on Wednesday to see who faces Plum for the Open Weight Championship. That's gonna be an interesting one, because Evil and Finley used to be both members of Bullet Club, but then Evil and the House of Torture left, and oh my god, look who Devin has to face tonight. It's gonna be Devin and Minoru Suzuki. For the Immortal title. Hold on, I gotta rock out to Austin's theme. It's the Sturbs playing, I love that. Of course, you got to play Disturb right before that. Anyway, I'll let you guys watch some of this opening part of the match. I got to get some water. Bandit versus the king of the world right now. Dropped to hold, hold from Minoru Suzuki. Suzuki pin and kick out from Devin. Minoru Suzuki picks Devin back up to his feet. Minoru Suzuki chopping Devin right in the head. Big chops from the king of the world. Minoru Suzuki with the takedown. Oh man. Big shots from Minoru Suzuki. Devin back to his feet. Devin, the current mortal champion, has Suzuki on the ropes. Devin, oh, he's flow. Devin lifted over the top by Suzuki. Suzuki and Devin here on the floor. Suzuki doesn't decide to go for Devin. Devin really going for a high risk. Oh, burning hammer. A burning hammer there by Devin. Ooh, back suplex on Minoru Suzuki by Devin. Suzuki tries to back to his feet here. Devin, another back suplex. Devin throws Suzuki back inside. Suzuki, trying to get back to his feet. Oh, he blocked the kick. Devin went for a roundhouse. He's caught with an octopus. Octopus by Minoru Suzuki. Devin got out of it though, but that definitely did some damage to Devin. Devin out to the floor by Suzuki. Suzuki kicks Devin. Here comes Suzuki. Big boxing right hand and an uppercut. The king of the world's fighting right back. Suzuki with a kick to that leg. Oh, more big shots here on the floor by Suzuki. Stunning Devin on the floor. Suzuki throws Devin down. Suzuki, oh man, headbunting the hell out of Devin on the floor with these headbunts. Man, these two beating the hell out of each other tonight. 
Suzuki out back here with Devin. What is Suzuki trying to go for here? Suzuki out on the floor with Devin. Devin caught Suzuki. A regular version of the, of the DTB. Devin, what is he trying to do here? I want to know what Devin's game plan is. What the hell is he doing here against Minoru Suzuki? You got to be, you know, you got to know what you're doing here against Minoru Suzuki. These two staring, standing against each other here. Devin missed it. Devin just missed it. Am I just tossing the match? Suzuki trying to lock it in. He's got it locked in. The choke by Suzuki. Devin trying to fight out here. He's trying to get out, and he is. That was close. That was very close for Devin. He almost just gave up, but he fought out. Pop-up punch. Devin still in this match, though. What the hell is taking off the turnbuckle pad? Devin, what are you doing? Devin, why did he take off the turnbuckle pad? Suzuki's in trouble. Devin's trying to go for it again. A DTB 2.0. And he hit him with it. Suzuki does not want to get up, though. Devin's going to hook him into it. DTB 2.0. But the referee, the referee's distracted by the turnbuckle. And because of that, no count for Devin. Devin just made a big mistake. He could have won the match right there. But he doesn't take advantage of a situation. Oh my goodness, Suzuki's got a triangle into the ropes. Oh man, that's really got to hurt Devin. Suzuki, a triangle into the ropes. On the arm of Devin. Devin caught by Suzuki from behind. Headbutt, Minoru Suzuki. Devin trying to get back up to his feet. He's in trouble. He's on spaghetti legs. Boom, big shot, Minoru Suzuki. Suzuki from behind, another head bunch to the back. Devin really messed up when he went when he did that with the turnbuckle. Needle the kidney of Devin. Devin's in trouble. Devin's in massive trouble. This could be it. Suzuki could go for the win. All that, oh, the leg lock. Suzuki started locked in. Devin trying to hang on. Devin taps. Devin ban Bandit has tapped out Suzuki as champion. Devin is no longer undefeated against Minoru Suzuki. Suzuki wins. Devin's plan backfired on him. He took off the turnbuckle pad. While the referee was distracted, he had a DTB 2.0. But, he, but the referee took too long in the corner with the turnbuckle pad, and it costed Devin the match. Suzuki makes Devin tap to the leg lock. And Suzuki's your new immortal champion. Oh, and more Stone Cold, that's what I'm talking about. And now we have our main event, folks, the eight-man tag team elimination match. We have a team of Michael Blaze, Show, RJ Lucas, and The Undertaker against the team of the world champion Lorenzo, the KOPW champion Wolfchild. You have Kenta Kobashi, and you have Mitsuharu Mazawa. Devin's trying to go after Suzuki with a chair. Suzuki and Devin are battling backstage after Suzuki just won the immortal title. This match is a 30 minute time limit. The only way to win is either eliminate all the members of their team or have the most members of your team still in the match with the, by the end of the time limit. Wolf Child, oh no, he missed it. So we have Undertaker and Wolf Child. Oh, and look at this, everyone. We have the hair glitch again on both on both Kobashi and Mizawa. Typical 2K with your glitches. Stupid glitches, 2K. Lorenzo, the world champion, is in this match. Oh, come on. Cheap shot by RJ Lucas. RJ Lucas is taunting Lorenzo, but the Undertaker from behind. That's what happens when you take your eyes off the dead man. You take your eyes off the American badass. Devin's going to try to get the rematch in against Suzuki through that arm injury that he had. But what are you doing wrestling with an injury then? 
And the thing is, you didn't you didn't tap out to a move to your arm, you tapped out to a leg move. Devin tapped out to that leg lock, Minoru Suzuki. The only question is, who's gonna win this eight-man tag? What's happening at Forbidden Door? Just gonna check the results here. Looks like John Moxley is has lost the IWGP World Heavyweight title to Tatsuya Naito, which means Naito keeps his G1 spot and is IWGP World Heavyweight Champion again. Big Alabama slam by The Undertaker. Dennis is not a wimp when he put that arm bar in the ropes. Oh, it's that triangle. The triangle that to Devin on the ropes. It was the triangle that really hurt Devin. That's what Fitch said at the end of the match. It was that arm, that was that triangle under the ropes by Minoru Suzuki that did the most damage to Devin. Yeah, Devin was trying to get fancy with Suzuki on the apron, but Suzuki caught his arm and locked him in a, locked in an arm triangle onto the ropes. Hey, Devin was grabbing at his arm after that arm triangle. Oh, and Mitsuharu Mizawa hitting RJ Lucas. You don't mess with guys like Mitsuharu Mizawa and Kenta Kobashi. Devin's trying to get a doctor here, try to get his arm fixed up after that arm triangle from Suzuki. That's probably why Devin tapped out to that leg lock because he couldn't take the pain anymore from his arm. Big spinning elbow by RJ Lucas. I mean, the choke, the choke almost did its job by Suzuki, but Devin got out of it. Again, I'm going to refer to it. Devin had the match won with that DTB 2.0. But it's because he took the turnbuckle pad off that cost him the match. If it wasn't for that, Devin would still be champion. But I mean, like, Suzuki also has, like, years of experience over Devin. So, you know, Su 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 Suzuki knows how to take advantage of situations and opportunities better than Devin does. Suzuki has that experience. Well, this Blaze is getting in the face of Lorenzo. So far, no one eliminated yet. With about 26 minutes to go in this elimination tag team matchup. Devin is put onto the stretcher to go to the hospital. He did his arm looked at by a doctor. Be able to the head tag to Michael Blaze. Blaze is here because, well, simply he won against Great Muda. And that gave Blaze a contract. Blaze was able to keep his job here because he won, he won against Great Muda and he got a world title match because of it. But Blaze lost in that fatal four-way match for the world title. Lorenzo pinned the former world champion Kenta Kobashi in that match to win it. And move there by Kenta Kobashi. The corners blaze. Kobashi hit with an elbow. Missed by Blaze. Back up to his feet. Big kick by Kobashi. Chops, Kenta Kobashi. And that arm is bad, man. Devin's arm is in bad shape right now, right now, after the bitten, after he tapped to Suzuki. It's that arm. It's that arm that went into the ropes from Suzuki. Because Suzuki had that arm triangle locked in like a freaking beauty. He had his both his legs wrapped around it and he was pulling it into the ropes. So that's probably what did it. Was that part of the arm triangle where Suzuki had the le had his legs around Devin's arm, and he was pulling it into the ropes. Big jawbreaker by the Undertaker to Lorenzo. Lorenzo is not happy about that. But look at this, Lorenzo taking his eyes off of Michael Blaze, the Undertaker with a big shot there. Off the ropes, ducked under by Blaze into the referee. 
Mitch Bindbuster. Yeah, Devin's arm is bad, man. Devin's, Devin's arms are broken. That arm triangle did so much damage. Oh, what a kick! Lorenzo with a big kick on Michael Blaze. Cover, and the Undertaker saves the match. But he also hit the referee by accident. Oh, there's that grand slam, it's locked in. A move that Ricky Steamboat would be proud of, but it's broken up by RJ Lucas. A bad night for Devin. All of his revolution buddies go down to GX3. He sees David Finley win a battle royal and he sees Evil win a triple threat match. And now he just had his arm broken by, Mitt, by Minoru Suzuki and he lost his title. He lost his title to the king of the world. Michael Blaze is taunting, which is typical for him. There's the tag to Mitsuharu Mazawa. And Mitsuharu Mazawa, the number one contender for the world championship. Going right after Michael Blaze, and he's going right for The Undertaker. The Undertaker, Mitsuharu Mazawa, two all-time great legends are talking to each other right now. Devin's going to get surgery. Devin's going to get some surgery. Oh, look at this, showing The Undertaker. Going after Mitsuharu Mazawa. Where's Mazawa going? Oh, I think Mazawa's going after The Undertaker. Or Show here. Yeah, he is he's going after Show. But look at this, RJ Lucas. RJ Lucas stopping him. Mitsuharu Mazawa sees RJ Undertaker. And they're staring down at each other right now. Well, Blaze and Lorenzo are having their friendly conversation. World champion staring at the eyes of Michael Blaze. And we got that glitch again here. So not only do we have the hair glitch in this match, we also have the tag team glitch as well, where everyone just decides to talk about the weather. Is, is that what we're doing now? We're just gonna talk about the weather during a tag match? Yeah, how's the weather going? Oh, it's great. How is the weather out here? Oh, it's great too. Is that, what we're, is that what we're doing now in tag matches? We're just asking about how the weather is? We're still talking about the weather here. I guess I'll fix this. I know how to fix this. Still talking about the weather. There we go. Just need to beat up Blaze. There we go, it's Blaze's fault. The doctor's saying that we have a new type of surgery he's gonna try on Devin. He's trying to get a robotic arm. So Devin's trying to become Lex Luger, I'd say, I guess. RJ Lucas in the match, going after Mitsuharu Mazawa. That's brutal to Devin, man. That's why Minoru Suzuki's always a man you don't wanna mess with. You don't mess with him because of stuff like that. Downward spiral, that could be it for Mitsuharu Mazawa. Here's the cover. Kobashi saves Mazawa. Mazawa, oh. RJ Lucas talking smack, but look out, Mitsuharu Mazawa, the rolling elbow. Mitsuharu Mazawa on show. Show saves it for RJ Lucas. Oh, and the clothes on the back of the head. Well, Devin might be going to that matchup really hurt, though. Devin might be going to that matchup against Brenton Obama on Wednesday in a bad state. Even with robotic arms, that's not going to be good for your, uh, for your body in that time. So Devin's going to be going into that matchup banged up. Counter there by Mitchell. Horror Mazawa with the senton. And again, Blaze gets in the face of Mazawa. And RJ Lucas, bang, belly to belly. RJ Lucas to take out Mazawa on a save by Wolfchild, the KOPW champion with the save. And the glitch happens again, folks. 19 minutes to go in this matchup. So far, no one's been eliminated. 
Oh, RJ's busted open. RJ got busted open. In the corner, tagged to Kobashi. Kobashi's tagged in by Mitsuharu Mazawa. Double shoulder block by our, right to RJ Lucas. Oh, look at the power. Kobashi, what a move. Kobashi, and a kick out by RJ. It's Kobashi, former world champion. Lost it in a four way to Lorenzo. Kobashi. Nice punch, but a block by RJ. RJ Lucas is going to tag in Show. This is Show's first bit of the match in here in this matchup. Devin says he's gonna, when he returns to 100%, he's going to go after that championship again. Yeah, I definitely want to be in 100% when I fight Min when I fight Minoru Suzuki. Suzuki is a tough, tough match for anyone, really. And I don't. And yeah, really, Minoru Suzuki is one of only a handful, a handful of people that I don't want to face when I'm not at 100%. I always want to be at 100% when I face Minoru Suzuki. He is just absolutely insane, man. He knows how to target your limbs. That's one of them. Uh, Katsuri Shibata is another man where I don't want to face him while I'm not 100%. He knows how to target my limbs pretty well. Oh man, drop gets the back of Kenta Kobashi by Show. That looked dangerous. That was dangerous. Hurricane Rana by Show. So far, about 17 minutes to go in the six man tag and the eight man tag. Kobashi with the knee. Covered by Kenta Kobashi to take out Show and RJ Lucas saves the match. Kobashi and Show going at it here. Kenta Kobashi. Off the ropes, burning Larry time. Duck under. Burning Larry on Show. Will that take Show out of the match? Here's the cover. Michael Blay saves it up. Michael Blaze made sure that this match stays tied up. Michael Blaze and Kobashi having arguments right now. Show from behind. Show right to the eyes. Low blow. The low blow by Show. Here's the cover, and Lorenzo saves it. Lorenzo saves it here for his team. And again, Show talking smack with Lorenzo. From behind is Kobashi. Hands Kobashi, off the ropes goes Show. Pop up, power bomb. Big pop up, power bomb by Kobashi. Kobashi with a kick to that leg. He pitched Show back up. Kobashi to be trying to go for maybe to take Show out of this matchup. Counter by Show. Show, tilt twirl, arm bar. Kobashi in the armbar, counter by Sho. Sho. Ooh. What a shot by Kobashi, man. Sho counters. And Sho slams the head of RJ into the turnbuckle. Or slams the head of Kobashi in the turnbuckle. He's got the arm, he's pulling the ropes. Oh, what the hell is this? Show, Bulldog, out of the corner. Cover to beat Kobashi. And a kick out at one. Kobashi with a big kick out to keep the match going. Tag to the Undertaker. Here comes the American Badass. Him and Wolf Chow going right for each other already. And Kobashi, Devin talked about some arm issues he's had since his match with Gabe Kidd. There's that double hook DDT by Kobashi. Kobashi stomping on that arm of the Undertaker. We got less than 15 minutes to go in this eight man tag. So far, no one has been eliminated, which will mean this match ends via tie if that comes to it. Oh man, Kobashi's going for something massive. Delayed. Vertical. Suplex. What a move, Kenta Kobashi. The 
Kobashi stomping away at the chest of the, of the Undertaker. Kobashi, what is he going for? Oh, Kobashi's going for the moonsault. Kenta Kobashi, moonsault! He got one on the Undertaker and show. Show saves it. Joe saves the match for The Undertaker and the team. Off the ropes. Big power slam for the dead man. Undertaker throws him in the corner. Kobashi, the tag to RJ Lucas. About 13 minutes to go here in this eight man tag with eliminations. Oh, RJ. RJ Lucas. Brain bust. Oh, no, he's going for three amigos here. Some three amigos for Kobashi by RJ Lucas. Yep. Oh, oh, oh Kobashi's knocked out. Uh oh. It's four to three for Michael Blaze. RJ Lucas showing the Undertaker. Oh, man. This isn't good for Wolfchild Lorenzo and. Mitsuharu Mazawa, here's the call for RJ. And kick out for RJ. So it's 4-3 for Michael Blaze and company. Oh, oh, Mazawa's caught by RJ. Oh, what a kick. Mitsuharu Mazawa. If there's anyone that's going to come back from a 4-3 deficit, I will definitely put all my trust in Mitsuharu Mazawa, Lorenzo and Wolfchild. Those are three dudes that I could put my trust into if they're down in a tag match. Tag to the world champion. Lorenzo. Lifts up. Gut buzz, uh, gore buster there by Lorenzo to RJ Lucas. Ooh, now RJ's busted open by Lorenzo. Can Lorenzo tie this thing up? At three apiece. Out of the corner, and there goes RJ, taken out by Lorenzo. There's 3-3 three, three tie up right now. Rock and roll up for Michael Blaze. We got a 3-3 three, three tie between these two teams. Michael Blaze, top row, big frog splash. Michael Blaze, has he taken out the world champion? No, he hasn't. He has not yet. Here's a tag to show. It's a 3-3 tie with less than 11 minutes to go. Who's going to get the next elimination for the team? Uh-oh, Show just kicked Michael Blaze by accident. That's no contact there. Wolfchop trying to get Lorenzo to come over to him. But he can't. Show stays ahead of them. Show spring board got the moonsault. Show covers to take out Lorenzo. Oh, and just barely a, a two there for Lorenzo. Don't be shot by the world champion. Lorenzo trying to go out, go to his buddy, and here comes the Wolf Child. Wolf Child into this matchup, but he's caught him. Bid kicks the show by Wolf Child. Bid, Groundhouse. Oh, this might be it for show. Loren oh, here we go, Wolf Child. Boom, there's the knee, and there goes show. It is three to two for the Wolf Pack and Mitsuharu Mazawa. That's why I said I put all my trust in the hands of Wolf Child Lorenzo and Mitsuharu Mazawa. They came back from four three down to make it three to two. All they have to deal with is The Undertaker and Michael Blaze. In the rain, big boot by Mitsuharu Mazawa. Mazawa with The Undertaker in the corner. Mitsuharu Mazawa, big slam on The Undertaker. Mitsuharu Mazawa, second row, calls up The Undertaker. Uh, uh, the members of, of Revolution are, are going over to see Devin. Mitsuharu Mazawa, Tiger, Driver, and The Undertaker. Tiger Driver, will that take out The Undertaker? And Blaze saves the match. Less than nine minutes to go in this matchup. 
Wolf shot, Wolf pack, and Mitsuharu Mizawa are up three to two. All they have to deal with is Undertaker and Michael Blaze rolling elbow, no one home. Taker, for the press. Oh wow, big kick up, big kick, and there goes Taker. We're down to just Michael Blaze against the Wolf Pack and Mitsuharu Mizawa. Wow, Mitsuharu Mizawa showing a, a great showing here in this matchup. We got two big members of the other team. Michael Blaze, the only man left in his squad. And Michael Blaze come back from a 3-1 deficit. We have to find out, can he come back? Well, Mitsuharu Mizawa and Wolfchild have done a lot of damage. Good move there by Michael Blaze to stay alive. Devin says, at least I can watch this show on TV. Yep, we do have this on TV. I mean, thank Ted Rothpage for that. Michael Blaze. Can we thank you, Frog Splash on Mazawa? He is. But look out, Lorenzo! What a job on Lorenzo! Good job, Lorenzo. Oh, Lorenzo sucker punches Michael Blaze. Michael Blaze is a not focused right now. He's trying to go after Lorenzo. Oh, but Blaze, he might want to turn around. Blaze, he might want to turn around here. Mitsuharu Mazawa. Yep, that's why. Oh, counter by Blaze. Blaze is fighting back, though. We go for a 619 on Mitsuharu Mazawa. Off the ropes, here comes a 619. Yeah, but it does not knock out, it does not knock out Mitsuharu Mizawa though. Oh, they're out, Blaze is going after Wolf Chow and Lorenzo. Mitsuharu Mizawa's down. This is Blaze's time to try to take out Mizawa, make it two on one. Michael Blaze, cross body. Cover, Wolf Chow and Lorenzo are both down. And a kick out, Mitsuharu Mizawa. Mitsuharu Mizawa on the ropes. Back into the ring. Mitsuharu Mizawa got the headbutt. He got him on Blaze. Blaze is in trouble. The kick, Tiger Driver. Bang, got Blaze. Is that enough to beat Blaze? No, it is not. Blaze kicks out. Blaze stays alive, and here comes the tag to Wolfchild. Will Wolfchild be the one to take out Michael Blaze? Child and Blaze here on the floor. Wolf Child, big drill, Hurricane Rana from Michael Blaze. Just about five minutes to go in this tag team matchup. It's two, it's three to one for the Wolf Pack and Mitsuharu Mazawa. Blaze is thrown away by Wolf Child. Wolf Child back in the ring, he goes. I thought he was going to tag in Wolf Child. Uh, Lorenzo, I guess not. Oh, right to the eyes by Michael Blaze. Come on. Blaze throwing away. Come on, Blaze. Go away. Michael Blaze thrown back in by Wolf Child. Wolf Child, go for the, drill, the killing blow on Michael Blaze to win this match. These two on the floor. Estio by the Wolf Child. Wolfchild throws Blaze back into the ring. Wolfchild top rope here. Diving double, no. Where's Blaze going? Come on, Blaze. Fight like a man. Come on. Blaze is being a coward, like always. Because Michael Blaze can't win on his own. He has to be a cheater and be a coward. 
Wolfchild has Michael Blaze up on his shoulders, but Blaze is staying alive. Blaze catches Wolfchild though. Michael Blaze, Sunset Flip on the outside. Blaze is not going down without a fight though. I'll give him credit. Blaze back into the ring. Or never mind, I guess not. Blaze is trying to go after Minsuharu Mazawa. Or he's going after Lorenzo. He's trying to go after someone. Back in the ring is Wolfchild and Michael Blaze. Blaze is thrown into the corner by Wolfchild. Oh, look at this. Nice boot here in the corner by Wolfchild. All right, choke Blaze out here. Oh, but Blaze catches the foot. Blaze just caught the leg of the Wolfchild. Three minutes to go here. Blaze has to hurry up. Needs to go for the kill. Three meteos coming up for Blaze. Needs to stop lollygagging and try to go for the victory. Cover to take out Wolfchild. This could be interesting, that kick out by Wolfchild. Blaze with about two minutes and 30 seconds. He's gotta hurry. He's gotta go, he's gotta go if he wants to win this for himself. Drop kick to the knee, smart move by Blaze. No, nope, Wolfchild tried to hold him to his buddy Lorenzo. Michael Blaze, springboard, crossbody. Blaze is fighting back, but he just made a mistake. He let Wolfchild go and tag in Lorenzo. Here comes the world champion. Lorenzo's had enough. Lorenzo has had enough tonight. He's going after Blaze. Snake eyes. Bang, it's over. Lorenzo. Wolfchild, Mitsuharu, Mizawa are the survivors, and Kobashi also gets the victory. The world champion knocks out Michael Blaze. That's awesome. Michael Blaze is walking back to the backstage area pissed off. The Wolf Pack with Mitsuharu, Mizawa, and Kobashi wins, and it looks like Lorenzo's going to get a, a promo here folks I just we're gonna set that up for Lorenzo so we'll be back in just a minute here And something's going on, folks. Wait a second, what's going on in the ring? Michael Blaze has the has the referee's outfit on. What is going on? What is happening? No, no is this what I think's happening right now? Michael Blaze has a referee outfit on. Lorenzo has the has his world championship. What is going on? Did some is did something happen? What's oh it's Roman Reigns! Why does Michael Blaze have a referee shirt on? Oh, and Lorenzo just got blasted. Oh, what the hell? I think Michael Blaze just costed Lorenzo the World Championship just like that. Yeah, Lorenzo, look at that. Blaze just gave Roman Reigns the title. What the hell? Michael Blaze has just screwed Lorenzo out of the World Championship. And he gave it to Roman Reigns. What the hell is wrong with you, Blaze? What the hell, Michael Blaze? 
Michael Blaze, what the hell is wrong with you? Devin said this is bullshit. Yeah, I agree it's bullshit. What the hell was that? Michael Blaze just screwed Roman Reigns. Or just screwed Michael Blaze. Uh, Michael Blaze just screwed Lorenzo out of the World Championship. What the hell is this? Blaze, what the hell is wrong with you? You just gave the world title to Roman Reigns, you sick bastard. Did, I don't know if anyone saw it, but I think Michael Blaze had a WWE referee shirt on. So does that mean Michael Blaze? Has Michael Blaze been with Triple H this whole time? Has Michael Blaze been a backstabber, joining with Triple H and Shawn Michaels and Roman Reigns with WWE? Michael Blaze, you sick son of a bitch. You don't get what's coming to you, Blaze. But Roman Reigns is world champion because of Michael Blaze and the shenanigans of the WWE. I'm sick of it. You know what? Let's just end the show right here. I'm sick of it. I don't want to talk right now.